So when <laughs> when you hit this serve, you're just like yeah. messing around one day and then. How did this start? Just, what do you think I'm doing here? Not asking that question. Just get to it. How did it start? <laughs> like, like so. Actually, when I was like 12, I played a junior tournament and we played on carpet indoors. And I remember everybody talked about you know slicing on carpet is super effective, and slice serving. And I just remember I played someone and then on the ad side, I never tried it before. And the first time I did it was in a match. I was like, let me just try to do a slice serve the opposite way. And I remember I hit an ace with it. The first time I ever tried things is what I'm I swear, about him. <laughs> I swear, like, part of grandma. <laughs> no, but the first time I hit it, him. I remember I hit an ace with it when I was like 12, but then somehow I just kind of forgot about it. Mm -hmm. But then it came back like two, three years ago when I was working with my coach to help me figure out how to serve finally in my life. So I haven't figured out, but, uh, <laughs> But uh, he was really on me about learning how to kick serve. And, you know, I was trying to kick serve into the side. Uh, what do you call it? Like side wall. Side. Side. You know, you like, so it bounces into the side. Uh, yeah, we can talk net. later. I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> 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 no, but I, I just kind of came out because I was just trying to be a, a smart ass against my coach. Because okay. I just kept on trying to kick and I couldn't make it. And I was, like, I was like, screw you. I mean, I can just do this. Like, I can make it if I want to. And I yeah. just did that. And I started making it every time. And he like was trying to to argue with me but then i kept making it every time so he was like didn't really know what to do <laughs> so he uses this serve in real matches yeah, yeah a lot a good amount really what about the kick use that one in real matches I can't <laughs> 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 don't have that one <laughs> it's, not, it's not an arsenal man <laughs> do people panic yeah for sure i mean it's different like so everybody's different with it like I would crush Justin with it for sure. <laughs> <laughs> do you do it on deuce side too or just outside? You can do it on the deuce, but it's so much easier for people to read it on the deuce. I don't know why, but I just like, you can kind of feel when you hit it that people just kind of they sense know. it like easier. Cause like the way you swing at it, I guess mm -hmm. it comes off the same way. But on the ad side, the main thing about it is the way I like accelerate and, and swing towards the ball, like accelerate through it is exactly the same way as if I had a T-serve. It's just that I switched the grip, right? So like. A lot of people, after I do it once, it looks the same, but it goes T and it looks the same and it goes. So like, so they just start to like miss step a little bit. Yeah. So they kind of lose that like first step. So I've just noticed that even though I might not use it all the time to hit the pancake serve, if I just use it like once or twice, then I get so much more of my T serve too. Even like, if you miss it, right? Yeah, yeah you know, for sure. So like, so it doesn't really matter if I make it or miss it, but. I mean, percentage wise, I make it for sure, like 60, 70% if I want to, okay. but then I can always like go for it a little bit more. And then, cause it's kind of wild with the spin. Were you ever like ashamed or you know, this is the guy that does that serve. Like he's the one with this, you know? No, I think, I think it's funny. I mean, I, like to me, the most important thing is, you know, just trying to, to figure things out your own way, like, and just find solutions to it. And I don't think there's really like a right or wrong to how to do it. You know, like if you want to serve out wide, like you serve it out wide. And how you want to get it there like if you have a big kick like that guy if you have like a <laughs> underhand serve or something like that as long as it gets the job done yeah i just think it's all about just finding your own way there i don't know as you become this thing because i was in hungary this thing early this this like this like <laughs> you're simon the guy with the channel the guy with the serve you know because yeah. like i was in hungary and i was warming up with this guy and this man just hit hit your serve yeah and he was like do you know simon like do you random german person i never met him he never met me he had no idea that i would know you he's like this is simon's serve and he was hitting the serve you know and i was like <laughs> so you've become like a like a thing you become the person that has the serve like i love have that. people ask you like come up to you and ask you like a bunch of questions and stuff like yeah i mean it's happened for sure and I, like nothing makes me happier you know when i get i get tagged and there's some kid that's like hitting the pancake serve or something like that <laughs> some coaches might be like a little little mad or something mm -hmm. but I just think it's so much fun, you know, when, when kids are hitting it and they're like, you know, they send me a message like, hey, I just hit my first pancake serve. And, and they're obviously like super pumped about it. Yeah. To me, it's just like, I mean, they're they're just having fun with tennis and just trying out new things and just exploring it. It's good to have your so own little stamp on tennis too, though. That's what I'm yeah. saying. You know, the tennis world knows about your thing. The man was literally cool. like, this is, this is, you know, Simon, this is Simon serve. Really. Simon. He didn't, <laughs> like, right-handed serve, slice out wide over the fence, like over the short fence. You doing good? Outside. Yeah, you look pretty good. <laughs> It was pretty fun, you know, like uh, TFO actually came up and asked me about it, like in Stockholm Open a few years back. And uh, yeah, he asked me like how I did it and stuff like that. Because uh, Taylor Fritz, I don't know if you've seen it, he does that too. Mm -hmm. I think I've seen that. But he doesn't switch the grip like in the in the toss. So mm -hmm. I, I kind of switch my grip like like right before I accelerate. But he, you know, switches it before and then goes. 
So during Stockholm Open, which is like in October, November, I was talking to Francis about it and I was showing him how I did it and stuff. And we were talking about it and he was like giving Taylor some fritz about it, like some shit about it and stuff. Mm-hmm. And then two weeks or two months later, they played the United Cup. And uh, I don't know if you guys saw this clip, maybe, but Taylor did it in like, a, I don't know, one of the matches. I did see that. Yeah. And he missed it by like, uh-huh. know, like super far. And Francis was just cracking up on the side. <laughs> <laughs> 